I'm not as likable because the girl ain't just beating the shit. The bitch will mess with it. Lexington Rowland, so on your cue. Congratulations, Mr. Pittman. I'm Trent Dawson. I'm the business manager here. I'm going to be taking care of your title work and also qualifications for your new vehicle. It should only take about 15 to 20 minutes. Is that okay with you? Perfectly fine. Awesome. I did the, uh, oh, here's your title work right here. And I got some odometer statements, uh, damage disclosures, everything you can sign, all that. All right. Thanks, sir. Did uh, Mr. Shelton, did you go over our CSI program with you? Yeah, you Awesome. I just want to briefly go over that again with you. It's very important for our dealership. You will be receiving that uh, survey and email in about one to two weeks from now. Uh, when you do receive that, you'll see there's about 10 questions on there, maybe from one to 10. 10 is completely satisfied. Now, remember, anything below that is a failing grade for our dealership. Of course, we wouldn't want that, so I have to ask, is there anything, any reason why you want to give us a completely satisfied survey? No, not at all. It's been great. Awesome. I appreciate that. Uh, here at Brown and Wood, you know, we've been a, we're a, th a third generation dealership, uh, born in 1936. Uh, original owners are here every single day, so we take pride in what we do, and our customers are very important to us. And as a business manager, it's my job to make sure you're satisfied before you leave today. Uh, and also, too, what we did with all the sur surveys, we sent thousands of them out to customers, you know, trying to learn more about them. And they came back with three major things that they just aren't happy with that later down the road when they're when they're enjoying their new vehicle. And that's why I go over those with you. And the first one's being, you know, the warranty. It's not lasting long enough nowadays with all the technology in these vehicles. A lot of customers are surprised when they've had a vehicle for three years and they're coming up with a mechanical failure that's costing no money after the warranty has expired. Second thing is uh <coughs> Insurance, you know, are you familiar with how your insurance handles a total loss? Yeah, I'm kind of. Can you refresh me on that? Yeah, I have you ever had a total loss before? Yes, I have. Yeah, so, you know, nowadays, especially when you have a loan on the vehicle, it's really when it hurts the customer because a lot of unexpected things happen. You could be the best driver in the world and someone sideswipes you, totals your car, and you think, you might think, okay, I can just go get a new car. A lot of the times now with the way people are driving, how many miles a year they're driving, their car can depreciate quicker than they expected. Now with that, just for example, let's say your car is worth 20,000 and your loan on the car is 27,000, right? That's a $7,000 difference there. Who do you think has to pay that? Doesn't my insurance just go ahead and that? No, so they don't. And that's the crazy thing. A lot of people don't know that. Um, that's actually the customer's reliability. He has to he has to pay that difference there. And that can not only hurt that person at that time, but it's also gonna delay on their process of getting in another car too. You know, so it's a lot of money you're gonna have to dish out. And we all have to make it work, you know. It's so always having buying a car. Exactly. It's always having a vehicle is very important in, in all of our lives now. Now the third issue is going to be trade value. You know, I understand you trade your vehicle today. I'm sure you're happy with what you got for it, but we all wish we could have got a little bit more. Is that right? Yeah, always. Exactly. Yes, sir. Uh, you know, a lot of the customers, kids scratching the car, getting the car dirty. It's going to make you upset, parents upset, because they know that when they do trade that car later down the road, you know, the, the, the whoever's appraising it's not going to give as much, right? And so wouldn't it be nice, uh, Mr. Pittman, if we could solve these issues? Definitely, definitely. Awesome. Well, I want to go back over to those, and the first one's going to be the warranty. So your new vehicle is going to come with a three-year, thirty-six thousand mile uh, bumper bumper warranty on that vehicle. And what I have for you is a way to extend that, so that way, when those problems, if they do come later down the road, you're not going to have to worry about them. I want you to be fully comfortable in your whole time owning that vehicle. Okay. And we would be happy to take care of you when you come back here as well. The other thing is uh, what we call gap insurance. It's a guaranteed asset protection and it protects you in any total loss situation up to $50,000. Remember too, it also covers your insurance deductibles up to $1,000. So just that in itself, it pays for it if you ever became in that situation. You wouldn't owe that $7,000 uh, to the insurance company. Gap's going to pay that off to your bank. That way you can go get a brand new car right away. Okay. 
Uh, the third thing is uh, about the trade and value of Mr. Pittman. And this one's actually one of my favorite ones. All, all of our customers take advantage of this one. It's called Resist All. It's a seal on the inside and outside of the vehicle. And it's going to protect from environmental damages like bird droppings, acid rain, tree sap. It's going to protect your clear coat over the whole course of your ownership. And then on top of that, there's a coverage that will last for about seven years on there. And it's uh, any rips, tears, stains, cracking, fading, chewing gum on the seats, carpets, uh, dash, anywhere on the vehicle. You don't have to yell at your kids anymore. <laughs> so let them do their thing. You know, when you go to trade that vehicle, vehicle in later down the road, go take it in and have them fix what, what needs to be fixed or it look brand new again. Don't you see how those can solve those problems? Mr. Yes, Pittman? I can. I really can. Awesome. <laughs> well, I want to pull over your bank approval here. Uh, this is your bank approval with the base payment. Uh, what I have for you is all our options that we, we that we discussed, and I have them all applied on here for you. Your vehicle does qualify, and that's qualified for these options, and that's the great thing here. So we have that vehicle service contract that I talked about that would extend that warranty for you, and I also have the uh, guaranteed asset protection, the gap. You'll have that applied on here as well, and I also have a resource all all of this rolled in here, and your payment would be right there. Uh, looks like about six twenty three. How's that sound? Uh, you know, that's really out of my budget. I well, what's my base payment again, if you don't mind? Yeah, of course, yeah, you're right there at five hundred dollars a month. Five hundred, okay. Yeah, that's more like it. That's more like it. I'm going to take that. Okay. Now, I I clearly I clearly understand that, and I'm the type of guy I'm going to go look for the cheaper option as well, right? We want to be budget-minded people. You know, we have we have other things that we're spending money on too. I'm sure you got other things that other bills you got to pay and all that kind of stuff so i clearly understand that and you're more than welcome to take that payment today mr pittman but before we do that i don't think this would be your better option do you mind if i explain how sure sure awesome so, so let's, let's take your base payment we're at 500 dollars a month and let's take everything with that we talked about at 620 okay Understand this, this is a big gap there, right? And I can understand how the 500s would be more attractive. I'm gonna give you uh, an instance, you know, let's say you've had the car for two years, but you drove so many mile, more miles than you thought because you guys moved, okay? Got a new job, you know, bike, quit work, whatever it is, it's causing you to drive more miles. You're out of warranty now. The radio stops working, you take it to the dealership, wasn't anything major. They just had to fix some wires on there. They just charged you labor. It was about 150 bucks. So you take that 500, 150. So just for that month, at the very least, not including maintenance that you're gonna have to do as well, it costs you 650 bucks. Okay. Just for that month, you know. You're not gonna be too upset about that. I think so, you know, we all have savings and we can all, 150 bucks, you're not gonna be that mad. You get to keep driving your car, right? right. Let's say uh, four months later, you're driving down the road, radio goes out again, okay? You take it in, you're probably like, oh, they just probably need to fix the wire again. This time it's an internal thing in the radio, and these radios are super expensive. Let's say the radio is about 1,500 bucks, and they're gonna charge another $1,000 just for labor, okay? So that's gonna be about $2,500. They're gonna charge you for that on top of your $500 payment. That means that month, cost you three thousand dollars just to drive your car i'm sure you're not gonna be happy about that are you not at all <laughs> and then mr pittman i'm not saying that these are going to happen but if or when they do you're not going to be happy so don't you see how that 620 payment would be a better option for you yes i do i really do awesome Let me just sign right here for me thanks sir good job man. pretty solid <laughs>